All right, this is the establishing shot. We are here today. 43 acres, that's really small. Whatever, we're gonna go walk the normie pass and uh, see what happens. No idea what to expect today. I was on a job, I looked up nature near me. And uh, yeah, we're about to see what's gonna happen. So we come live today from wherever it said we were. And today is the 27th day of the ninth month, the month of September, in the year of the Lord, 2023. So yeah, uh, welcome back to Rainbows and Razor Blades. It's gonna be a very short episode today. I've never been here before. Don't know what to expect. It's hard to balance and get good footage. But yeah, I mean, already, just look at this. This is pretty cool. So I looked up on the internet because the internet exists and it told me to go here. And I was like, yeah, yeah I will. <laughs> I will go here. And I saw a picture of uh, the river and I was like, yep, I'm sold. I mean, I'm already so far out of the, this, the city. I'm already about 30 minutes away from home. So, you know, it'd be an hour drive total if I wanted to just do this on my own someday. But I'm actually getting paid like to be out here, like in the town of Valencia. So, here, let me uh, clean my... Sh let me clean this. Hopefully that'll stop some of the really annoying... Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's a lot better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot less scattered light. Oh, there's people with dog normies and kids. So I guess we'll probably avoid that for now. Maybe I'll go the other way towards the broken tree to keep on my own. Because I don't really want to be involved with screaming little infants, to be honest. Not what I want. I'm just gonna go this way. Give them their space and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they'll well, give me mine. Bunch of nice little asters here. Some uh, Japanese barberries. Smells like mushrooms here. Not a surprise. Wow. Look at this. Looks like some old uh, fencing barbed wire. Some uh, blue stem. I think that's blue stem. Goldenrod. Yeah. Nice little place here. I really like the rapids. Good, all these little fucking kids are leaving, so once they're out of here, I can go claim their spot because it was definitely the preferred spot. So this is where all the kids were. Like they were all just like right here. And obviously they left, so I claimed the spot and this is the smoke spot. So we're definitely gonna be smoking a bowl. Wow, imagine like living there. Crazy man. <sighs> Glad to be done with work for the day. I mean, it wasn't much work, but the, most of the work and most of my fatigue and stress from today is just from cooking. You know, I fucked up because I didn't have uh, the, uh, the, the the proper ingredients. I was missing the broth, so it didn't come out great. It came out very bland because I couldn't cook it in broth. I had to cook it in, like, vinegar and soy sauce, so it's, like, salty. But, like, the thing is, it's, like, salt dissipates and kind of, like, goes in with the carrots. I don't know goes in with the mushrooms and kind of absorbs, so it just comes off kind of bland. Anyways, I'm sure this is a really enthralling, interesting episode today. We'll be right back when there's something to film, I guess. So this is Virginia Creeper, and it is at the end of the cycle of the year, or near, near close to it. And you can see that it is, let me see if I can zoom it in, you can see that there is quite a bit going on. You know, I'm not sure whether that's fungal growth, but I think it is. Um, you know, and this looks like maybe it was eaten by like slugs possibly. It's got that indicative kind of roundness to it that maybe like a slug did it, or a snail some sort of stomach foot and uh, yeah I mean office oh, kids I may have to pass them I'm gonna see if I can get ahead of them actually
Hmm. So, yeah, this is the year itself. Sorry, I have an apple in my mouth. But that's the year, that's like, well, the revolution, the revolution was kind of already like well on its way. This may be Heath Aster, but there's so many Asters. I couldn't tell you. I'm just guessing kind of based about the, on the shape. I wouldn't try to actually like make the ID on it. I have not been studying Asters that long. It is in fact the month of Asteracea. Or maybe Asteracea. I'm still looking for confirmation on that. Kind of like Jacobin versus Jacobian. Like there's like a, it's not a debate, it's just some people are saying it wrong, and the people who are saying it wrong don't realize they're saying it wrong, so they're not debating with the people that are like, bruh, you're saying it wrong. You know what I mean? Otherwise they'd just be saying it right. And I don't know which side is which. I just know there's two sides to things. I'm a fence-sitting, word-saying motherfucker. Look at them all. They're vibing, dude. I had no idea... Whoa. So I, I had no idea how old she was when I approached her. My assumption, because she was in the bar, was that she was at least 18, right? And it ended up being that, that uh, you know, she was 21, and I was like, that's kind of young. So I was like, you need some help with that problem? She's like, what problem? I'm like, well, the one where you're about to finish your drink and don't have a new one or anyone to hold your arm. And she looks at me, and, like, she compounded it in her head, and she weighed the options and realized, like, I was flirting with her, because it's pretty direct. She's like, yeah, and I'm like, you know, maybe on later in the night, if you enjoy this drink, we can solve your other problem. She's like, what other problem? And I was like, I'll tell you after you finish half the drink. So, uh, you know, we make small chat, chit chat, and she stops paying attention to the fact that I even said that. And then she gets it on, I was like, so you want to know a secret? She's like, yeah, because, you know, girls love secrets. Well, why, why would you say no to that? And I was like, you pinky promise not to tell? She's like, yeah. I was like, I, I see right through you. She's like, what? I was like, I see right through you. She's like, what do you mean? She's like looking in my eyes right now. She's like, she's like, what do you mean? We're like staring at each other, like electricity between us. I was like, remember earlier when I said I could help you with your problem? And I like look down, like check her out, like up and down, up and down. And she like probably caught that. Because she wasn't that drunk. She'd only had like one or two drinks. You know, and I wasn't, I wasn't playing alcohol against her as a game. I was just being nice. And so she's like, she's like, yeah. And I was like, well, you've got everything just so laced up don't you she's like what do you mean laced up and i was like well your boots your corset i assume you know the entire mechanism of your capitalism and the support they're under unless it's a daddy and she's like what i was like you heard me she's like no i pay my own bills and i was like yeah i was like well then that still leaves the problem she's like why come on what's my problem She's like, you think, like, I forget what she said, but it was, like, some, like, insecure nonsense that I was, like, okay, noted for later. She's like, it was, like, something, like, it was, like, like, you think I, like, like, talk to people when I'm, like, something, I don't know what she said, it was weird. I don't even want to talk about it, because it was just, just a distraction. And the story's about me, not her trauma. And she's like, she's like, what's my problem? And I'm like, you haven't figured out how to get over the fact that you get horny. And she's like, What? And then she wasn't, like, really offended. She was, like, kind of, like, intrigued that I said it. Because, like, I was right. And she's like, what? And I was like, I'll bet it's religious trauma that did it to you, as straight-laced as you are. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, that's because you're not used to processing more than superficially. Why don't you take a moment to think about what I said and realize that when I abuse people, I'm getting off on being correct and the power thereof. And she's like, uh -huh. Because that's, like, a fedora tip. That's, like, reddit.com just downvoted you in, in the mod comment section before they ban you. That's like, you don't want to hear that when you're flirting from some man who just bought you a drink. You want him to, like, tickle you. But over here, here I am playing sexual frustration games with their ego. And she's like, I don't know what to deal with that. And I was like, so you dress all dominant, right? You think you look tough in that corset? She's like, yeah. I was like, you switch? She's like, of course. And I was like, no, I mean, like, you switch? She's like, How, what? I was like, well, you seem like you like the bottom, the way you lace up. You took my drink. You said you pay your own bills without daddy. But I paid for your drink. And now at this point, like, she's, like, mad at me. Like, and, like, that's the game. Like, I am, I am negging and antagonizing her. I'm doing what every PUA has, has taught me from Andrew Tate to whatever, whoever. You know, just the, the archetype, right? <laughs> I'm like... 
All right, now that we've reached step two, it's time to uh, check my autistic flowchart. Ah, yes, where are we? Oh, Escalate Kino. And I'm like, so I brush her, uh, like, her elbow with, like, my two fingers, and I, like, look in her eye. I'm like, in a moment, when I'm done drawing on this wall, do you want to come dance with me? She's like, mmm. She, like, really thinks about it. She's like, mmm. And I was like, if you're uncomfortable, you can dance three feet away from me. I tend to stomp. And she's like, okay, yeah. Because, like, the apprehension there is, like, it's a direct sexual invite to touch someone's body. You have to think that part over. Like, up until that point, you basically, like, you can weigh up how you liked it. You can't just say yes. Like, the approach is imperative. And if you spring that question too early, then people are just like, mm, yeah, maybe. Because they're waiting to get to know you. But once there's what they call a rapport built, then, I don't know, just like, a, for me, I guess it's... I, I, it's hard to say whether it comes natural or whether it's shitposting training from 4chan when I was 15. But whatever it is, putting it into action as a lesbian, as a, as a woman, as a, as, as, and so, so of course she comes to dance on the dance floor. And she slides her hands actually around me without me even asking. Like once, once she had said yes, it wasn't really a matter of like escalating Kino, it was just like, yes, you have full permission to do whatever the fuck you filthy want to my body. But you can't verbalize that yet. That'd be like self-degrading to throw yourself that hard at an unknown. She's trying to save decorum. She's trying to save class, save face, whatever it is. The, the ability to restrict that access, that, this is a crazy place. The ability to restrict that access is where the power comes from. It's the, it's the, it's the wearing of the panties. It's the chastity belt. Maybe even the father to chase you off there above if it gets too deep and intimate, you know? At least you'd hope. That's why there's all these men on the internet like, fatherless behavior. Like, okay, dude. You leaving that comment seems like fatherless behavior. Like, shut up. <laughs> so, while this, like, vulnerable goth, submissive, hot, dominant looking to from the outside, like, if you're, like, a cis normie guy, a girl like this is going to intimidate the shit out of you. You're going to be like... Oh shit, like, or, or if you're like a self-composed, put together, like, uh, like cop archetype, then you're going to just pity them and be like, okay, you, you kids go have your fun. I got adult things to do. But me, I don't know, what am I, what am I doing? I'm putting my 21 year olds. They're swept off their feet by this. This is why they show up. They're hoping for this experience. And I'm like, oh, fine, fine. I'll oblige, but I'm not happy about it. It's just, it's just the role you're supposed to play because that's the game. Like, people want to play the stupid game, and like, it's the wrong game to be playing. When I met my like now long-term partner, I was up in their ear like, "Hey," and they're like, "Hi," and I was like, "Has anyone ever told you that you're intense?" And they're like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "How about a cereal?" They're like, "No," and I'm like, "Listen closely because I am the universe." They're like, "Okay." And I'm like, and you are also the universe? And they're like, ooh, woo. And then I went on and on and on about energy and, like, this state of, like, equilibrium and a flow exchange of energy. And, like, I explained it in, like, I was, I was just tripping balls. Like, yeah, it was funny. But that's not how it is when it's just, like, superficial. Because here's the thing. All right, here's what it is. I gotta look around and see if anyone's listening. It's a secret information. Sluts want to be sluts. They want a safe opportunity to be allowed to prove themselves worthy of being called a slut. Like, that's an archetype. Like, that's like a sex drive that is so core and so innate to some people. It's almost as biologically core as the decision to be attracted, quote, quote unquote, decision to be attracted to men or women. And only those two options. There's no, that's it. You only get those two options and nothing else at all, ever. <coughs> At least if your government's doing it right, right? <laughs> I've been listening to Foucault talk about, like, the origins of sex power. And I'm reading, it's called, like, uh, The History of Sexuality, maybe. It's pretty comprehensive, but it's way above my head. And, and it's probably literally written to be pretentious. I can't really tell. I don't really understand who Foucault was. But my understanding is that maybe he was French. Michel Foucault. Like, but, like, I've been reading it, and, like, it's way above my belt, man. And I've been thinking about it, and I'm like, huh. I mean, if I had read this as a 15-year-old, as opposed to the PUA handbook, where would I be? Would I even have transitioned? Does being a pickup artist make you trans? Find out on this episode of Predatory Transsexuals. Thanks for joining. We'll be right back after this.
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Bruh. It's funny that they, they all got triggered there. Damn, I didn't even see that fourth one either. This is ridiculous. Oh, there's one. There's one. I'm gonna flip the camera around. That's great. This fucking thing went right out of my hands. So see, bruh. Where is it? Can you can you even see it? He's right there. There he is. Damn, look how well adapted he is. He's like using the actual wait is he that color i don't think he's that color i think he's actually got the stuff on him like camouflage that he like came up and is just on him as like part of his body he's like mm, yes there is not really a big differentiating factor between my amphibian skin and this algae mm, yes we swapped nutrients and ionic bonds and probably not actually but <laughs> it's cute to think about it Dekubara, we are on. Oh shit, there's so many leaves. <laughs> all this bramble is garbage. All these thorns are garbage, or in the bittersweet is garbage. Yo, this is like a crazy property right now. Bruh, dude, bruh. Just noticed. So yeah, I gotta pick all these off, that sucks. Um, that took like way longer than it should have. It actually gave me an immediate, immediate appreciation for just like how evolution works because like I said, I'm wearing more or less like the target demographic for the seed. Like I, I am wearing the thing that it adapted to stick in and like, it was really astounding, like really like frightening, like how difficult it was. Sorry, little frog how difficult it was to actually remove them. I mean, like, I was really using my nails and, like, trying to be precise. And, like, just the molecular structure, the shape of it, that it is, like, it's, like, it's so perfect. <laughs> that it, like, just, like, gets in there and, like, doesn't let go. There's, like, these little hairs on them that get, like, all imbued and entwined. It's crazy, man. I, I was pulling them out for, like, ten minutes. I was like, this should not be taking this long. I should just be able to kind of brush them, you know? But, like, it's not how it is. Millions of years of evolution, the strongest, best ones, the ones that have adapted to be this shape, you know? There's a reason for it. Well, I gotta say, I have no sense of direction, and I don't navigate using the sun or any other strategic landmarks. I have no idea where I am, but, you know, that's kind of cool. Look at that tree, that's kind of cool. Weird zigzag in it, that's weird. But yeah, I can't tell if I'm going back the way I came or if I already came this way, but this, <laughs> this is the way we're going. And, uh, yeah. Back at the bench, so definitely I was here earlier. <laughs> I was trying to get concerned, like, am I lost? Like, I've been uh, working away at this, trying to save this little sumac tree from the bittersweet, and it's a pain in the butt. Oh, you know what? It didn't cross back this time. Ugh, it goes all the way up. And I have to keep doing this, otherwise it'll just go right back down and reroute probably. Probably not, but maybe. I don't know. Update. Apparently this thing was already like dead. Like you can see, like I didn't realize it was like completely rotted. And it had already been like trimmed back. So I accidentally killed it, so whatever. But at least the on the bittersweet can't spawn there. Kind of a shame. Like it was already dead realistically. Like it was so damaged on the bottom just from the wrapping. That's not what killed that. That humans did that with some clipper devices. <sighs> I don't even want to bother to save this one. They're just going to clip it, so. I'm kind of looking at this person's backyard, but if you look over there, it's like the whole thing's kind of collapsed. Like right there. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Yeah, sometimes the guitar freaks them out too. Oh, 
So I've come to the end of the path. I was nervous that it wasn't the end because I saw like the fence line, but the path is pretty obvious, so I followed it. And I got to this nice gazebo and I realized we're back at the parking lot, so that's it for the day. And I was like, that's actually not that bad. That's a pretty good hike for the day. Thanks for joining, guys. We'll be back again with another episode really soon. Teeny big butt and big Irish cock, huh? Okay. I just feel like there's better graffiti you could write, you know? Ah, this is all terrible graffiti. Brittany K. Can I? Oh, you tell me, bro. Can you? This is uh, Steve. So I've been working on this one. It took a little bit, so we're going to go give it to him, because it's finished. It's supposed to have like, a little weird color in it. Wait, where'd he go? He's, he's right here. <laughs> I'm like, bro just disappeared. Jim, you gotta see this. I gotta see what? Wait, put the light back. You gotta see Steve. 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 This is Steve. I've been working on Steve wow, for a really bit. Nice. Yeah. Wow. We gotta find a way to frame it. Yeah. Well. Is it done? Like, well, if you want it to be. No, I was gonna no. leave it as is. Were you? Yeah. Just a little bit of color instead of a lot of color. Do you want all the color? I can, but I can keep coloring it yeah, for a while. Keep coloring it. Yeah. It's beautiful though. I just kind of liked it because it was like one bit of color, which mm -hmm. I thought was cool. It is cool. But if you think this is done, then it's done. Because yeah. it's your art. It's not my art. Yeah, if you want more color, I can put more color. It'll just take a lot more time. Only if you want to work on it. If you think it's done, then it really should be done. But I'm going to leave that up to you. I think, I think it's done. Those pieces of art are just like. I think it's done. Like it's supposed to like fuck with your perception. Mm -hmm. There's also a silver thing over here. This whole thing. Yeah. But it's very cool. We'll probably add some more color if you want more color. I don't know if it'll ruin it. I don't think I mean, it'll ruin I, it. I'm not the artist, so the art mm. is the artist. Mm. I it's could probably cool. do a gradient this way of green and blue. Wouldn't really ruin it. Uh, I'll let you think on it. If you think it's done, like, I would totally frame this the way it is. Yeah, maybe done. I don't know. What you could do. I think it may have died, yeah. Really? I can't tell. It was like splashing like it couldn't fuck around.